cold northwest coast of Tasmania, a couple of enterprising blokes make their living harvesting an unusual crop. When that kelp comes in, it's money sitting there. If you don't go and get it, you don't get the dough, and, and you've got to go and get it, keep the show going. The product's only a waste product. It's rots on the beach if it's not used. Colin came here 20 years ago as a surfer, and the waves were so good, he decided to stay. But he needed to find a way to support his surfer lifestyle. I saw this bloke driving a funny looking truck into West Point one day, and he had kelp on the back. And I thought, yeah, we'll have a look and see what this bloke's doing. And it's gone from there. With his mate Jacko, Colin got a license to collect kelp and turned cold, wet work into cold, hard cash. You'd call that an average load. It's probably 1,200 bucks finished product through the, through the shed, you know. Like. The kelp gets made into organic fertiliser, but first the wet prop has to be dried to exacting specifications. There's a bit of sand on that one, that's for yours, Brownie. Right, shut the door and turn the dryer on. Take about three days to do what we've got in here. So... Look out, Jack. You all right? After years of perfecting the process and a fair bit of kelp, the boys of the routine down pat. It's grown and it's grown and it keeps on growing and growing and growing, so it'll only continue to grow. With demand for organic fertiliser on the rise, the boys rarely get a day off. We're here six days a week sometimes, sometimes seven, going all the time. Knives. Got to have good sharp knives. Jack has is probably one of the hardest guys I know, and he's still going yeah, out of the man. Right. He still he's sets the pace. Right up, we'll head down. Every day, they scour the shoreline looking for a fresh dump of weed, but the whims of Mother Nature often confound the laws of logic. No, nah, she's all old stuff. All out there, that's all bull kelp bed. The seas have been very big and the tides have been high and it's just brought all the rubbish up with it. This is all the dead rotten stuff that's washed up here. As the swell goes back, the fresh kelp will sit behind this. I've done an actual graph, a book, a diary on the winds, the tides and nothing. Nothing told you when it was going to come. With the big seas, everybody thinks it comes, but sometimes, you know, you, you get jack shit. But other times, it might be only a couple of metres and the place will be full of it. So you can't pick it. The kelp collectors aren't washed up yet, but they're looking at handing over the reins. Oh, I'm thinking about slowing down a bit, moving the other offside of coal. We're just about worn out. That's my son, Justin. He's going to take over. We've got two boys, Justin and Saxon. They're going to take over the collecting of the kelp. We've done the hard yards. Now we've got it set up nice and simple. And it's a bit more workplace friendly for the boys. They're quite capable of running it. It'd be nice just coming down, sweeping the floor at the shed and keeping an eye on them, come for a trip with them. Bring the lunch box and have a bit of lunch and watch them do it. It's a good lifestyle.